Hi everyone, this is Aslan. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use Floaty. Floaty is a uh, free to use extension for your uh, Swift app that you're making and uh, what, what it basically is is a button like as you can see in the animation and it has more pop-up buttons that you can use and it's a uh, pretty cool, pretty sweet looking and uh, it'll add some extra pizzazz to your app. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I've already made this uh, navigation view controller and I've made the new project and everything for the sake of time. So um, from here, let's go ahead and uh, install this pod onto our app, okay? So to do that, we're going to open up Terminal and we're going to navigate to the folder that has our Swift app project. And uh, in my case, it is desktop slash home slash how to floaty. That's the name of my project. So we're in that folder now. We're going to go ahead and click it, write pod in it. So what this does is create a text file in your Oopsies, I wouldn't want to do that. Got my. Now, um, before you do pod in it, you have to do, you have to install CocoaPods. So what CocoaPods is, is basically you can uh, install pod files to your projects and you can use these extensions on GitHub and many other things. So before you do pod in it, you need to be, you need to have CocoaPods installed. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and uh, watch another video on how to install that. Now, um, as you can see in my project folder, I have this pod file that has been created, okay? Now in here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come into uh, here. As you can see, it has the CocoaPods link here. Uh, we're just gonna copy this one. Mine, my Swift is uh, so, as a weird version, so I'm just gonna copy this here. We're gonna copy this. And basically where we're gonna put it is in here. Pods for how to float it. See how it's a... Uh, we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna paste it in here. Okay, pod, and I got floaty, just how it's written here. So basically, we're gonna save this now and we're gonna close out. And then here, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna write pod update. And what it does is basically, oh, we gotta close this project for it to continue. Stop task, it's fine. So we're updating the pod. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds. You'll know when it's done, when this button is an X and not a doubt. See how it turned into an X? That means it's all done. So we can come out get out of there. And uh, let's go back. Okay, see now we have a cup, uh, we have this, we have this new folder called pods. This is uh, where our floaty stuff is. And we have this workspace that has been created. We're gonna open up this workspace. Oh, it looks like it's it opened up on my other screen. So I'm just gonna drag it back in here. And as you can see, we have uh, two things in here. And uh, we'll go back to our how to floaty and uh, our main. Okay. And I'm gonna just uh, build it just so it will build all the pods in there and everything, and it'll be ready. Cool. Now we can uh, go ahead and add this floaty. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you want to do, if you want to add it through here, which I think is the easiest way to add it, you can also add it programmatic programmatically. You can read more about it in the floaty page. So what we do is add a view. Okay. And I'm gonna make this view uh, 45 by 45, a square view. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna, oops, uh, we don't want to see that. I'm gonna set this one to iPhone 7. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna add constraints. And uh, so we got this 45 by 45, right? We're gonna go up here. And in this class, we're actually going to go ahead and click on floaty. Now automatically, just give it a second, it's gonna change it up. So you see, we got this plus button, okay? And let's go ahead and uh, edit it here. Uh, I want to change the background color to the color of the background that I have here. So, so far we got this plus button. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we have. And while it's running, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, okay, we're gonna do a couple things here. Let's open, let's see, let's, let's let it run and see what happens. And uh, what we get here, simulator, okay, let's, let's see what, here we go, see, we got that floaty button here. Now, when we press it, nothing happens. We want things to happen. 
So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and connect my view controller to the uh, uh, the view controller that I have here. So now this screen is connected to this view controller, and I can edit this file, and it'll change things on my screen. So we have two things here. Now this is the view controller that's connected to this screen. Now in this view controller, we're going to go ahead and import floaty. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, in here, we're also going to control click and drag this guy in here, and we'll call this guy floaty. Okay, now this is the name of this button here. Now, we're going to go to you, uh, view that view did load, and we're going to add some things that floaty can do. Okay, so as you can see, in uh, you can find a ton of information in here, but it has all the basics and everything like how, how to add uh, functions and whatnot, but I'll show you the basics here. So to, to add more buttons, when you click the blue button, this is what we're going to do. We're going to click do floaty.addItem. And in here, we're going to set it to title. And let's call this one button1. One. OK? Also, you can write comma, and you can write um, image, so you can an icon, so it will have an icon, or what if you want to add an icon. Let's say we have button1 here. Let's add another button. We'll do add item and we'll write button two add item button uh oh looks like we got icons here which I'll change that in a sec and oops and finally we have to put this last step in here self dot view dot add Sub view floaty. Okay, cool beans. Now let's go ahead and play and uh, load and see what happens. Okay, so we got our home, and as you can see, we have three buttons. You see how these guys are white and empty? You can add the icons in here, and if you have like a custom icon that you would like to add, you can go ahead and do that. Also, I believe this uh, the pod file comes with uh, a few other icons that you can use. Okay. Now let's. I want. So as you can see, when I when I click on this, nothing happens. Okay. Now I want it. So when I click on that button, something happens. Well, let's see. Let's say we have a label in our home view, and this label, we'll go ahead and connect this label over here and we'll just call it label. Now I, when I click on button one I want the label to change to something, okay? So to do that this is what we're going to do. We're going to write comma handler, okay? And we're going to do that and we're going to make two, oops, we erased the other one. We're going to do open and closed curly braces, okay? We're going to do this in and then we're going to write code in here. Whatever, whatever we press this button, this code will run. Okay. In this case, I want the code to do. I want the label dot text to change to button one was pressed. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And then um, for two button two. I want it to do, so I'm going to go ahead and I copy this handler, okay? But instead of uh, doing this, I want it to do something else. Oops, forgot a comma in here. Cool. When I press button 2, I actually want it to go to a different view controller, you know? So I'm going to make another view controller here. And I'm going to connect this view controller to this view controller. And I'm going to set the background to this view control so we can uh, see, we can identify it. And I'm going to call this guy, oops, not that, view, uh, second view, okay? Now well, let's go ahead and uh, add, actually, we do, uh, we need to. Actually, we don't, we don't need to do that. So you see how we have this segue here, this, this arrow? That goes from home to second view. I'm going to add a segue here. I'm going to name it home to second. Okay. We're going to copy that. And I'm going to come back to this button. 
And here we are. So now when I click on button two, I want it to go to second view. Okay, that's what I want. So this is the this is the code that we're gonna write in here. We're gonna write self dot perform segue. And in here I want with identifier. Um, and here we go. That's this is our identifier home to second view and the send uh, sender itself. And when I click on button three, I don't want anything to happen. Okay. So let's go see, uh, let's go ahead and uh, run and see what happens. And here we go. And when we press this button, when I click on, oh, looks like I forgot to make it bigger. But as you can see, the label did change. And when I click on button two, it went on to the second view. Alrighty. And when I click on button three, nothing happens. Okay. Thanks for watching. All credits go to K Cider for creating Floaty. If you have any more questions, comments, or would like to see more videos like this, please let me know. Happy coding!